Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panikas Tutorials. In the C programming language, we have 8 different types of operators such as arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, assignment operator, increment and decrement operator, conditional operator, bitwise operator and special operators. Out of this 8, I already discussed about 6 operators. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about bitwise operator. We have totally 6 bitwise operators. I will discuss each one in detail with few examples. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me write down the 6 bitwise operators, then I will discuss each one. We have bitwise and or exclusive or not left shift right shift. This is and or exclusive or not left shift right shift. Now, those who have watched my video on the logical operators, they would have learned about logical and, logical or and logical not. Then they would have been confusing, sir, there is a logical and, now you are saying bitwise and, how they are different. Don't worry, I will discuss the difference between logical and and bitwise and with an example so that you will understand the difference. The basic difference is that, the bitwise end operator will be performed on each bit. Okay. Now, let me tell you with an example. You have 7. You have bitwise end 4. Now, represent this 7 in a 4-bit register. If you store the 7 in a 4-bit register or a 4-bit representation if you are doing, what is the 7? Usually, the 7 if I convert into binder number, it will be 3 ones. Now, if I want to store using the 4 bits, so it is 0, 3, 1. Okay. Now, 4, convert the 4 into binder number, which is 1, 0, 0. Okay. Now, as you need to store it in a 4 bit register, so you will have the 4th bit as 0. Now, if you perform the bitwise end between them, what will be the result? Remember one thing bitwise end operator will give you the output. Whenever the both the inputs are 1, let me discuss here, if both the inputs are 1, then only the bitwise end will produce the output as 1. If any one of them is 0, you will get 0. So this is the basic principle of bitwise end. If both the inputs are 1, then only you will get the output as 1, otherwise you will get the output as 0. So now look at here. This is 1 and this is 0. If you perform bitwise and, you will get 0. 1 and 0, you will get 0. 1 and 1, you will get 1. 0 and 0, you will get 0. Now convert this decimal, sorry, convert this binder number to a decimal number, which is 4. So if you perform 7 bitwise and 4, you are getting 4. Is it clear? Suppose the same thing if I perform logical end. This is the logical end. Am I right or wrong? How we will perform the logical end? We will have the condition 1, logical end, condition 2. Am I right or wrong? Now when this entire one will produce the output as true? If the condition 1 is true and the condition 2 is also true, then the overall condition will be true. Am I right? So here what I have written 7, logical and 4 I have written. Now remember one thing, any value other than 0, it will be considered as a true. So this one is true, even this one is other than 0, so it is also true. So true, logical and true will produce the output as true, which is nothing but 1. Are you able to understand it or not? So if you perform the 7, logical and 4, you are getting the output as true, which is nothing but 1. Whereas if you are performing 7, bitwise and 4, you are getting the 4. 
So this is the difference between the logical end and bitwise end. I hope you have understood. Now let me discuss the next bitwise operator which is R. Okay. If I perform the 7 bitwise R 4, let us see what will happen. Now 7 if I represent, I will get 0, triple 1. 4 if I represent, it is 0, 1, double 0. Now remember one thing, the logic, sorry, the bitwise R operator, if any one of the input is true, you will get the output as true. This is the basic working process of the bitwise R operator. So if any one of the input is true or any one of the input is 1, you will get the output as 1. Is it clear? Now look at this one. 1 or 0, you will get the 1. 1 or 0, you will get 1. 1 or 1, you will get 1. 0 or 0, you will get 0. So. If you convert this binary number to a decimal number, you will get the value 7. So, 7 bit twice or 4, you are getting 7. 7 bitwise end 4, you are getting 4. So, this is about the bitwise end and bitwise R. Now, let me discuss about the exclusive R. Let me perform the exclusive R between 7 and 4. Okay. Now remember one thing. The exclusive R, when I discussed about the digital logic design, I would have discussed like this. Seven x exclusive R y, it is nothing but x y complement, x complement y. Am I right or wrong? This is the expansion of the exclusive R. Now let us take that. If the x value is 1, y value also 1, let us see what is the exclusive R will produce. x value is 1, y value is also 1, then exclusive R between 1 and 1, what is the result? Now x is 1, y is complement, 1's complement is what? 0. Then you have x value is 1, 1's complement is 0, okay, then y value you have 1. Now let us see this 1 and 0 you are getting 0, 0 and 1 is 0, so 0 or 0 you will get 0, so 1 exclusive or 1 is 0. I request you to try 0 exclusive or 0 and similarly 1 exclusive or 0, you will get here 0, here you will get 1. If you want to try, you try it and check it whether you are getting correctly or not. So the truth table of exclusive R is, because if you want to perform that operation, you should know the truth table. We already discussed about the truth table of bitwise end and bitwise R, then only we performed it. Now, if you have X and Y, exclusive R, Y, if it is both are ones, you will get the output as zero. If both are zero, you will get the output as zero. If both are different, one and zero, you will get one. Zero and one, you will get one. Okay? Is it clear? Lot of people will remember like this. If both the inputs are same, it will produce the output as zero. If both the inputs are different, it will produce the output as one. Okay? Now we will perform the seven exclusive R four. 7 is nothing but 0, 3, 1. 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Now we will see the exclusive R. 1 exclusive R 0. 1 exclusive R 0, it is producing output as 1. 1 exclusive R 0, 1. 1 exclusive R 1 is producing 0. 0 exclusive R 0, it is producing 0. So this is the binary number. If I convert into decimal number, I will get the value as 3. Okay, so 7 exclusive or 4, you are getting the result as 3. So this is about the exclusive R. Now let me discuss about the next one, bitwise not. This is very simple. It is nothing but a complement. Okay. 
Suppose let's take that I want to perform not 7. Now if I represent in a 4 bit register it is nothing but 0, 3, 1. If I perform the not, see it, I need to perform the bitwise not. Meaning is that 0's complement, 0's not is 1, 1's complement is 0, 0, 0. It is nothing but you are computing the 1's complement. Am I right or wrong? Is it clear? You are computing the 1's complement of the given number and you are getting 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is about the not operation. Now let me discuss the two important operations which is left shift and right shift. Okay. Lot of students will confuse the with left shift and right shift. The general representation of left shift and right shift is we will write A left shift B. Is it clear? Just to make you understand I will write 8 as A value and B value is 1. So I want to perform 8 left shift 1. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? This 8 is nothing but on 8 you want to perform the left shift. Now left shift means shifting. How many bits you need to shift that will tell the by the B. So are you able to understand this is the A is the actual value. On that A you want to perform the left shift. How many bits you need to shift that will be denoted by the B. So here 8 is the actual value. On that one you want to perform one left shift. Okay. Let's see it how it will work. You have the 8. Okay. If you represent it in a binary number, you will get 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now let's take that you have a bit here. Meaning is that this is empty. Okay. Now you need to perform left shift by one bit. So this one will come here. This 0 will come here. This 0 will come here. This 0 will come here. Okay. Now this is empty. Here you need to keep the value 0. Are you able to understand it or not? Because there is no value here. You cannot shift anything from here to here. So this is empty. So you are keeping a 0. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? So this is what the left shift. Okay. Now if this is the left shift, you convert this binder number to decimal number, you will get the value 16. Okay. Are you able to understand? To make you understand, let me discuss another example. I have 4, I want to perform left shift by 2 bits, okay. Now what I will do is that first I will perform left shift by 1 bit, for that result again I will perform the left shift by 1 bit, then I will get the final result, okay. Are you able to understand it or not? So the 4 is nothing but 1, 0, 0, okay. First I will perform left shift by 1 bit because this is the actual value. I need to perform left shift by 2 bits. So first I will perform 1 bit. So this 1 will come here. This 0 will come here. This 0 will come here. In here you will keep a 0. So this if you convert it, you will get a value 8. Okay. Now again you need to perform another left shift. So this 1 will come here. This 0 will come here. This 0 will come here. This 0 will come here. And this is empty you will keep a 0. So if you convert into decimal number you will get the value 16. Okay. So you can ask me how can I remember the shortcut or the what is the procedure directly I can write the value without performing a left shift. It is simply like a into okay 2 power b value. Is it clear? If you want to try it, you can see it. A value here is 8. Okay. 2 into what is the B value? 1. So 8 into 2, you got 16. Similarly here, 4 into 2 to the power B. B value here it is 2. So 2 into 2 power 2, which is nothing but 16. So this is the way we will remember the left shift. Okay. Is it clear? Now let me discuss about the right shift operation which is reverse, okay.
okay is it clear now similarly a is there right shift b now a is the actual value right shift by b bits to make you understand let me take 8 right shift by 1 okay now one bit you have to perform the right shift so what is the actual value of 8 if you convert into binary number you will get 1 triple 0 now you need to right shift so this will be empty this 0 will come here okay this 0 will come here this 0 will come here this 1 will come here okay now if you write it see this 0 has been gone 1 double 0 this 0 has been gone means it has been gone away so here it is empty here you will get a 0 are you able to understand it or not so let's take that you have a Ravi you have a Razu you have a Rakesh these three students are sitting on a bench let's take that Parnika came okay and Parnika asked them to move right then what will happen to this Rakesh Rakesh will fall down from the bench because there is no place Rakesh will fall so similarly here this zero will go away so you will get zero one double zero okay are you able to understand it or not so if you got the zero one double zero what is the value here if you convert into decimal number you will get the value 4 are you able to understand similarly to make you understand let me discuss with another example I have 8 I want to perform right shift by 2 bits then if I perform the first one I will get 1 0 0 this is the actual 8 value if I perform the right shift I will get 0 1 double 0 this is the 4 just now we have discussed now again if I perform the right shift by 1 bit I will get 0, 0, 1, 0. Is it clear? This is value is 2. Okay. Now, if you want to remember how the right shift, if you want to know the actual formula, which is nothing but A by 2 power B. If you have a doubt, you can check it. A value is 8 in this example. Okay. B value is 1. 8 by 2 power 1, which is nothing but 4. Similarly, if you have a doubt here, you can check it 8 by 2 power 2, which is nothing but 2. So this is what about the bitwise operators. We have discussed about bitwise and or exclusive or not left shift and right shift. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.